What's up you guys, Sambo here, fellow City Skylines YouTuber. Today, I wanna to bring you guys a little collaborative tutorial series with Paradox Interactive. The first video will be about highway interchanges and the next one is about on and off ramps for highways and how to manage that. Highway interchanges can be tricky and if you mess it up or choose a bad design, you might actually find yourself in a bit of a pickle. So what are some things that you should look out for and what are some good designs that actually work? Firstly, let's talk about some important pointers to look out for when either designing or downloading a highway intersection from the workshop. Firstly, more lanes isn't always better. You should try to work out how many lanes you actually need and adjust the highway accordingly. It's usually good to keep it around three lanes or four lanes if it's really busy. Any more than that, the cars start to get a little bit excited and start doing a lot of lane changes which slows down traffic and eventually causes congestion. Now, if you would like to take your lane management one step further, you can actually designate on and off lanes to help with the traffic flow and to keep merging simple. You can do that through the traffic manager mod using the lane connector. It's also really handy to make sure you have the correct amount of connection lanes. For example, here we have a three lane highway with a smaller two lane and one lane feeding into it. By giving them all a lane on the highway, they don't have to worry about merging at that point and makes the transition smoother. Another thing you should look out for are any disruptions. So these can include traffic lights, stop and give way signs and pedestrian crossings. And lastly, the location of the entrance and exit lane really matters. The exit lane should occur before an entrance lane. So the exit lane goes first, which will remove a portion of the traffic, which is then followed by an entrance lane, which adds the traffic back in. If it is the other way around, however, so the entrance first, the exit second, you'll actually be mixing in a lot of traffic, which will cause congestion and a little bit of chaos. All right, so now that we've outlined some basic tips and things to look out for, let's have a look at some interchange examples. I can't cover all types as there's too many, but this should give you a little bit of an idea. Let's start at the low traffic end of intersections. The roundabout interchanges are actually my personal favorite, so they're great for low to medium amounts of traffic, mainly because the roundabout itself causes slower moving traffic. They often can have give way signs and they mix a lot of traffic together. Similar to this is the dumbbell interchange. So again, good for low traffic, but it does cause slower movement and can easily become congested with traffic influxes. For heavier amounts of traffic, it's better to have intersections with direct lanes. For example, the trumpet interchange provides single lane connection and there's no give way signs or any disruptions and they can easily flow straight through. The only downside for this is the size of the loop. So if you want something a little bit more compact, you can try out the T intersection. So again, it provides a fast direct access route, but it's also suitable for more crowded areas. Lastly, for the extreme amounts of traffic, the bigger the highway interchange is, the better. The reason why it's better is because it's spreading out those large amounts of traffic over various slip lanes and highway areas. The best type in this scenario looks kind of like this. These are all stack interchanges. Anything like this is going to be beneficial firstly because, like I said, everything is really spread out, but also due to the extensive amount of direct lanes and the ability for vehicles to still travel at fast speeds without disruption. Anyway, thank you all for watching and I hope it all made sense. Next week's tutorial will feature myself again, showing how to manage highway on and off ramps. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all later.